Biden advocates toughest and fairest border deal amidst rising tensions. In a significant development, President Joe Biden has characterized the ongoing negotiations for a border deal in the U.S. Senate as the toughest and fairest set of reforms possible. This announcement comes amidst a heightened debate over border security, with Texas Governor Greg Abbott pledging to deploy more razor wire earlier this month. The bipartisan talks, however, face a critical point, with House Speaker Mike Johnson declaring the deal dead on arrival in its current form, according to a letter to Republican lawmakers. One of the key sticking points in the negotiations is the mounting Republican opposition, with some Republicans conditioning further Ukraine aid on the establishment of a robust border security deal. Critics argue that President Biden should have maintained the restrictive policies implemented by former President Donald Trump, who remains the frontrunner for his party's nomination. President Biden, seeking another term in the upcoming November elections, defended the proposed deal, stating, what's been negotiated would, if passed into law, be the toughest and fairest set of reforms to secure the border we've ever had in our country. He emphasized his commitment to shutting down the border on the very day he signs the bill into law. The proposed deal includes significant provisions aimed at limiting asylum at the border. An expulsion power is to be introduced, allowing rapid returns of migrants to Mexico if encounters surpass specific thresholds. This power becomes mandatory if daily encounters exceed 5,000, drawing parallels to the Trump-era Title 42 policy during the COVID-19 pandemic, which ended under Biden in May 2023. Migrants, however, would still be able to claim asylum at legal border crossings if the expulsion power is in effect. Notably, the U.S. would be obligated to allow at least 1,400 migrants per day to approach legal crossings to claim asylum if expulsions were in effect. The bill also aims to expedite asylum claims within six months without detaining migrants, providing a faster resolution compared to the current process that can extend over several years. Former President Trump has taken to social media, cautioning against any deal that does not meet Republican expectations for shutting down border crossings. The political tension surrounding the negotiations reflects the broader debate over immigration policies and border security. President Biden, in addition to advocating for the border deal, urged Congress to provide the funding requested in October to enhance border security. The proposed funding includes additional border patrol agents, immigration judges, asylum officers, and cutting-edge inspection machines aimed at detecting and preventing fentanyl trafficking at the southwest border. As the negotiations reach a critical juncture, the fate of the border deal remains uncertain, with both Democrats and Republicans standing firm on their respective positions. The outcome of these discussions will likely shape the political landscape leading up to the November elections.